Hey kids, it's Papa. You ready to explore the Bible? All right. Take your Bibles and turn to Joshua chapter 8. And I want you to get your Bibles. If you don't have them, I want you to pause this and go get them. But I want you to see in Joshua chapter 8, we're going to see after the sin of Achan, after they had judged it and they'd killed Achan and his family, and, and after all of that, we come to verse 1 of Joshua chapter 8. Take a look at what it says. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not, neither be thou dismayed. Take all the people of war with thee. None of this two or three thousand will do it, because it's not about you. He says, Take all of the men of war with thee, and arise and go up to Ai. See, I have given into thy hand the king of Ai and his people and his city and his land. <laughs> And thou shalt do to Ai and to her king as thou didst unto Jericho and her king. Only the spoil thereof and the cattle thereof shalt thou take for a prey unto yourselves. Lay thee an ambush for the city behind it. Now here he told them not only you're going to take the city, but he tells them how he wants them to do it. And so what we see is that Joshua takes all of the men, but he takes a smaller group of them. And uh, he takes 30,000. Now, this is 10 times the amount that he sent last time, but it's only a small group. And he takes this 30,000 and he says, okay, here's what I want you to do. Okay, here's AI. I want you to go around and go in back of the city of AI. And those mountains over there, those hills, I want you to hide behind those and I want you to wait. Okay? And he said, I want you to... Uh, be there ready. And he gave them the whole plan. And they said, ooh, good plan. Let's do that. And so sure enough, they sent those 30 men around the backside and they're waiting. And the men in AI have no idea that they're there. But this time, the rest of the army, and there was a lot of them, come marching down against AI. And AI sees all of those soldiers and they think, wow, that's huge. But last time, we whooped them. <laughs> we'll whoop them again. And so the men of AI said, yeah, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. We're good. And they went running out and they ran, ran up against the children of Israel. The children of Israel fought them. And, and then on a signal from Joshua, they started going, oh no, we're getting defeated. And they started backing up and they started running away from the men of AI. And the men of AI said, oh, oh, oh we've got them now, man, get them. And they started chasing them away from the city. As soon as they did that, the men in back of the city rose up and they went down into the city, probably a gate on the far side, and they went into the city and they burnt it with fire. Okay? And they, they, they burnt it with fire. And, and then when Joshua saw the smoke rising from Ai, he sent another signal and all of the Israelites stopped and turned around and faced the men of Ai. And the men of Ai goes, why did they stop? <gasps> and then they turned around and they looked and they saw that their city was burning and they realized that they were in trouble. And sure enough, they were because all the children of Israel fell on them. And because they had no more courage, Joshua and his men defeated them. And this time God said, you know what? You can have everything you find. And they did. And uh, they had defeated the city of Ai. Now, I would imagine that God probably had that plan to begin with, but they didn't even bother to ask God. Listen, if you ever have a decision to make, ask God. Now, you know, here's the thing. You know, there's a lot of little decisions, okay? You know, uh, you know what, uh, what should I do with my time and uh, what class should I do first? And by the way, always do your Bible first. And, you know, all of these other little decisions of life, you know, should I go swimming or should I play at the treehouse or should I go downstairs and play a video game or all of these little decisions of life. Now, some, you know what you ought to do. For instance, uh, should I obey my parents? Yes, obey your parents. Duh. Should I, should I obey Papa and Grammy Mai Mai? Yes. Okay. You see, you know what you ought to do with regard to that. So don't even ask. Just obey. But there's a lot of things when you don't know what to do. And, you know, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. 
in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Now notice it doesn't say in all thy ways except for the little things. No, it says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. And so you ought to start off the day saying, Lord, guide me today. Show me everything that you want me to do. And then before you make any decision, just sort of say, Lord, do you want me to do this? You know what, I, I think I'm going to do this, but it, it, you know, stop me if you don't want me to. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And if you get used to asking God about the little things, it will be second nature when the big things come. And so here's the thing. In every decision of life, we need to ask God what he wants us to do. We need to take him into consideration. When we know what to do, we should do it. When we don't know what to do, we should ask God. Okay? Simple. If you know what to do, just do it. But if you don't know what to do, ask God. And he'll guide you. He has a plan. Okay? Hey, love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.